Hey everyone, welcome back to my channel and welcome to a vlog. I haven't vlogged for ages, not since last year, I don't think. And today I have a few things that I need to do. So I need to organize my colors uh, because they're a mess at the moment. <laughs> I also have a delivery from Sweet Squared that I've had sat here for weeks, <laughs> um, which is the new Light Elegance tools. Um, so I thought I would open that with you guys as well. I also have a class tonight, so I thought I would show you how I kind of get prepped and ready for my classes. I think I am going to start by opening this delivery because like I say, I haven't actually gone through this and it's been sat here for weeks. <laughs> so in this delivery, I think I also have yeah, a couple of other bits as well. So. Um, I have some cleansing wipes uh, just to top up. I also ran out of Light Elegance cleanser, so I have that in there as well. And then we have the newness. We have uh, the tip cutters with the nice Light Elegance logo. Uh, I'm pleased to have these actually because my tip cutters that I have, they're okay, but they're not that sharp anymore. So. Um, I picked those up. We also have some scissors. So we have the precision scissors. One is a curved blade and one is a straight. So I'm looking forward to trying these. I've never tried scissors like this before for my form cutting. I remember I used to use scissors like this years ago for minks. Be interested to try that out. And then um, we have the precision spatula the stir and scoop so i am so happy to have this because i have a really old spatula that came free as part of a kit from years ago from another brand and everyone always asks me where i get my spatula from so it's nice now that i can actually use something that i can uh, like recommend to you guys because the one that i have i just you can't get hold of anymore so um i could never really recommend a spatula to you guys so now I can so that's great please excuse the lighting during this video because today's weather is the most bizarre it keeps going from like bright sunshine and then it goes pitch black and absolutely hammers it down with rain I think we might have had some hail at one point as well it's just gone mad so if I'm like going lighter and darker I do apologize <laughs> but it is the weather so um I am going to unpack those scissors and just give them a little bit of a try on a form. Um, and I also need to sort out my nail desk for later. And then once I have done that, I will then get on organizing my color and glitter gel drawers. Before I do my filming, it is a royal mess at the moment. <laughs> um because i tend to finish like any of my lives and things i tend to finish them like fairly late so once i'm done i just literally abandon everything <laughs> and uh and then i clear it up like the next day but when did i even use this i can't even remember the last time i used this that's bad isn't it last friday and then Monday, I had the most awful night's sleep, like Sunday night, Monday morning. So Monday, I wasn't clearing it up. Tuesday, I had to take my car in for a service. So that whole day was wiped out. So I didn't have time to clear it up. And then yesterday, because Monday and Tuesday was so, such write-offs, <laughs> um, I basically spent the whole day yesterday on my laptop. So hence why this is still a mess from last Friday and it's now Thursday. I, of course, did a video back along about the KB Glow, which I have as part of my setup. And I did mention that I'm gonna be doing a follow-up, um, which I am, um, it's coming. It's coming. I just have been so busy. Light Elegance have had so many <laughs> like product launches that it's kind of taken up the last few weeks of videos. So um hence why i'm so late with like my tools and yeah i am going to be doing a 
kind of follow up review and if you want to see like a full filming setup in with that review let me know down in the comments and I can do that for you I'm going to aim to get that video done within the next couple of weeks so let me know if you want to see just a follow-up review or if you want to see like a full filming setup and I'll get that done for you I just need to sort this out so I need to obviously get rid of all of this mess here um, and then I can get this set up for tonight I'm working on my own hand tonight I'm doing gel polish and soak off builder application um, so obviously the live class will have happened by the time this goes out but I will also link the class below because you can still um, sign up to the recording of the class. Let's just get cracking, I need to sort this out and then I can have a play with the new scissors and see, see what they're like. So I thought I'd just compare these uh, like elegant scissors to my current form cutting scissors. So these are crystal nails, they're actually cuticle scissors but I have really liked these for form cutting because they're small and they have a slight curve in them. So uh, the light elegance ones are definitely bigger um, and of course we have the curved ones here and then we have the straight ones. So um, this is gonna be different for me because they're bigger, we've got two different ones. So I'm just gonna play around with a form for a second and just see how I get on with them. So I've just fitted a form on, I've not like put it on necessarily like precisely or anything and I've obviously not filed the free edge like I would usually for a form fit um, but I just wanted to have a play with the scissors so um, the curved ones are definitely bigger to try and cut the shape into the form um, so if you like larger scissors you might prefer that I think these are going to take a little bit of getting used to for me um, I feel like possibly I have a little bit more control with the smaller blades but it's probably just that I'm so used to this and this is different. I love the straight scissors for cutting these slits in at the side so normally I would take the form off and cut those in but I've actually managed to cut those slits in with the form still on which is amazing so loving the straight scissors definitely gonna have to have a little bit more practice with the curved ones um, just because like I say they are bigger and I think just the action just feels different <laughs> so I'm basically all set up for tonight now so I have my products at the back here I don't need loads of stuff today uh, because we're just doing color applications so yeah I'm basically all set up I've got my iPad there my lamp is just behind there so I'll just pull that out when I'm ready to go this evening so now it's time to tackle the colors so what I have here is basically the autumn color and glitter gels the autumn buttercreams and then also just some other colors that I've used more recently that I've not put away just yet so I basically keep 
the two most recent collections in my drawers where I do my filming, where I was sat just a moment ago. So I have the, su the sorry, not the summer, the spring and the winter collections in my drawers where I do my filming. And then um, when the summer ones come out, the winter ones will go into the drawers. So these are a bit late because the summer ones aren't that far off and I've not put these away yet. So I need to sort out the drawers, get these put away, get some space made for them. I also have all of these colour swatches um, and I may regret this but I really want to separate the colour gels out from the buttercreams. Wish me luck. <laughs> um, I'm going to start off, I think, I need to see if I've got any more of the metal rings that the Colourpops go on to because that will make my life a lot easier. I do have some extra spare like uh, colour wheel rings. Um, so I just have, these are like um, backdrops that I use for photos. So you can see here we have the we have colour gels at the top, some, a few more colour gels that didn't fit in the top drawer and then buttercreams, gel paints and then the starting of the glitter gels and then the rest of the glitter gels. So the top three drawers for me are colours. Um, I've been trying because I wanted them to be all nicely like organised and stacked so they didn't move around so I've been like wedging it out at the back I don't know if you can see that with some like cut up disposable towels but honestly they just get squashed and it just doesn't really work so I'm not going to bother doing that this time because it takes a lot of time and it doesn't actually work <laughs> so i'm going to take all of that out throw it all away then i can show you how i reorganize my colors when i've got new ones to add in i don't take everything out of the drawers because that would take forever um so i'll show you how i do it When I'm adding in new colours or if I wanted to like reorder them, then what I do is I actually put the colour sticks into these first because these are all in colour order. Um, I did this when I took the autumn colours off of my colouring that I have in the other room that just has the new collections on it. So I've already done that, they're already mixed in. And then what I do is I order my drawers in the same order as the colour pops. So I just follow the colour pops and place them in the order. Um, they all get massively jumbled up, as you will have seen uh, when I showed you the drawers, which is another reason why I'm not bothering to like pad the back out or the sides because doesn't actually work they still move around when you're opening and closing the drawer what i'm going to do now is i need to just trying to think the best way to do this i think i need to separate the buttercreams out first before i start tackling the drawers so yeah that's what i'm going to do i'm going to set up up my at this desk here and separate all the buttercreams out onto separate rings and then I can tackle the drawers. <laughs> I have sorted out the rings of the Colourpop, so um, that actually wasn't as bad as I thought it was going to be. <laughs> um, luckily, I 
label the color gels and the buttercreams with a different colored label so it was actually really easy i just literally moved one from the other so now we have the satisfying task of rearranging all the colors in the drawers did it, the drawers are organised. So here the top drawer we have all colour gels, so actually this full drawer is all colour gels now, all in one drawer, so they don't overflow into another, uh, you might be able to see, they literally go right to the back. So there we go, they are all nicely organized then in the second drawer we have the butter creams and gel paints then we have like the butter blings and then we go into the glitter gels which then carry on into the next drawer uh, and actually taking out all the padding i've got loads more space left so that's good because i was starting to panic a little bit that uh <laughs> I didn't really have any extra space in those drawers and with new collections coming like four times a year um, I was starting to worry a little bit about where on earth I was going to put them so <laughs> now I know I have extra space um, that's great because I know when I get new ones now I'm going to be able to fit them into my drawers with no problem. So the time now is 3.30, that took me way longer than I thought. Actually, I thought the drawers were gonna be the quick bit. They actually took the longest. Um, my battery ran out, so the little montage kind of stopped halfway through, but <laughs> you get the idea. Um, so yeah, it's half past three. I am now going to take Winnie out for a walk and then come back and get started with some food because when I'm doing my class at six o'clock, I don't finish until normally around eight o'clock sometimes they're half seven but um if i then finish my class and then make dinner i'm not eating until like half eight nine o'clock and i just can't eat that late and then go bed and sleep <laughs> it just doesn't work i'll sign off for now and i will come back and see you when i am getting prepped again uh just before the class i'm just getting prepped for tonight's class my ipad here i like to start off just with this on the screen so that the students aren't like looking at nothing so i've got my phone set up here that i use when i do my live classes um and then yeah when they sign in they'll see that screen and yeah that's me ready to go i've got my lamp ready and then when i get started i move this over to my stand here um so that i can see all the comments because for some reason when i have because i do it through facebook the only thing with facebook is that for some reason when i'm doing it on my phone so when i'm doing the actual filming it doesn't show me the up-to-date comments which i don't know what that's all about but um yeah so i just get it on my ipad to be honest it's kind of easier because it's off to the side and i just check them when i'm in the lamp anyway so it's fine
I've just finished my live. Here we have the nails from tonight's live. So this is from the gel polish and soak off builder gel masterclass. Uh, we went through really thorough application, prep work, um, how to like increase the longevity of your soak off builder and gel polish classes. Um, this is P plus French Merlot if anybody is wondering about the colour. I am now just waiting for the live to upload to the Facebook group because when you join a live, the video gets saved to the group and you can watch it anytime then. And then I will be relaxing and enjoying my evening. So I'm gonna sign off here. Thank you so much for joining me on this vlog. If you're new here, please subscribe. I'd love to have you join and I'll see you in my next video. Bye.